Welcome back to the Edgewater Avenue YouTube channel. Today I have a very special tutorial to share with you. It's for the new boy shorts pattern, which are called the Charlie Bottoms. So let's just jump right in. For materials, you will need three quarters of a yard of swimwear fabric, quarter inch swimwear elastic, and sewing supplies like a cutting tool, sewing machine. If you want a complete list of all the tools that I use, I'll make sure to link that. The final material you will need is the PDF pattern for the Charlie Bottoms, which is available online now at edgewaterapp.com as well as on our Etsy shop. A lot of work has gone into this pattern, so I do hope you choose to support. So let's just jump right into it. What is the first step that we always do? So the first step of every tutorial that I do, we're gonna cut our pieces. So what pieces need to be cut? Here, I actually just have half of the pattern printed out in order to save paper. There's actually four pieces total in order to make a complete bottom. But instead of printing those other pieces, you can either flip the pattern piece to account for the other side, or you can do it in the way I'm going to show you. So in the end, for each of my pattern pieces, I want to cut two pieces in each fabric for a total of eight separate pieces. So to expedite that process, I'm gonna be folding my fabric and cutting two layers at once. So I'm gonna cut my front and back piece in this fabric. And once I'm finished, what you'll see I end up with is two pieces for the front and two pieces for the back, which is what happens when you fold your fabric and cutting through two layers. What's nice about this too, is I have right sides already together. So I just cut them out, put them aside and I can move on to the next step. At the end of the day, you will need to have four front pieces and four back pieces. So now that we have all our pieces, let's put this thing together. The first thing I want to do is attach our front pieces and back pieces at the center seam. The center seam is marked on the pattern so you know exactly which one it is. To do this, match each front piece and each back piece with right sides together. Make sure you're matching the lining with lining and outer with outer. Right now you should have four separate pieces that you're working on. Then you're gonna use your machine to sew just those center seams. I'm using a four thread overlock stitch for this on my serger, but if you don't have a serger, you can use a zigzag stitch. Now what I didn't do when I was recording, but I should have done, is I should have left a hole in the back center seam on the lining piece. Later on, we're gonna use this hole to take everything to the right side. I ended up having to go back and seam rip, so if you remember to do it, do it now. Now that all the center seams are attached, we're now down to four pieces, two fronts and two backs. Now you'll be happy to know that that really was the only extra step that this tutorial requires. The rest of it is gonna be very similar to my other videos. These bottoms seem like they would be really complicated, but they're really not. So now match fronts with fronts and backs with backs, right sides together. Then sew along the waistline and the leg holes. Doing this, the sides and the crotch should be left untouched. At this step, I'm also gonna be attaching my quarter inch elastic. Now, when I was testing this pattern, I did notice that the elastic actually sat better when I attached it to the lining side instead of the dominant side. Usually I attach my elastic onto whichever side I want to be the dominant side on the outside. And that helps it leg the best on that side. But for whatever reason, these bottoms don't behave that way. And so I do recommend attaching the elastic to the lining side for these. In this tutorial, the orange fabric is my lining. So I'm gonna be attaching elastic there. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, if you're unfamiliar with sewing elastic, or maybe you know a little bit, but you just need a little bit of help. I made an entire elastic series answering the most common questions, as well as some more nuanced questions. So make sure to watch that series. It will give you way more background than I can fit into this video. Another helpful video to watch if you're newer to sewing swimwear or you just want to have some familiarity with the methods that I'm using is the 2021 tips video. So both of those will be linked. So now the elastic is attached and our next objective is to attach the front piece to the back piece, making one whole bottoms. Bottom. 
So to do this, first I'm going to flip my front piece all the way to the right side. Then with the back piece still inside out, I'm going to insert my front piece inside, making sure that right sides are together. Align the front piece so it's matched up with the back piece at each of the side seams as well as the crotch. Use pins or clips as needed. Now we're going to sew three seams, each of the sides and then the crotch. When you're sewing, you're going to be going across all four layers of fabric. And what this is going to do is it's going to fully attach the front and the back piece. During this step, there is no need to attach elastic onto these seams. I like to use a secured straight stitch for this, and that's because these seams aren't intended to stretch. Everything is sewn, and so I'm gonna go ahead and trim my excess. Like I said earlier, I should have left a hole in the center seam for one of the back pieces, and I didn't do that, so I'm gonna go back and seam rip a hole now. This hole is about an inch and a half. Now through this hole, I'm gonna push the entire suit all the way out until the bottoms are completely to the right side. And the final step is sewing that hole shut. You can either use a hand stitch, like an invisible stitch, or you can use a straight stitch on a sewing machine. And that completes the trolley bottoms. Here is how they turned out. These are really cute and retro, and I do think this style is gonna be popular. Maybe stick around for a few seasons. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to purchase the Charlie Bottoms PDF pattern at edgewaterab.com. Show your support and just try this really awesome pattern. And of course I have to plug, if you're not already, go follow Edgewater Avenue on all social media platforms. All right, I will see you in the next one.